Hello, Sam here with JBugs.com. We've been working our way through numerous rust repairs on our 1971 Super Beetle, cutting, grinding, and welding on the body and the chassis. While we're wrapping up, one of the last things we're going to do is modify the tailpipe openings on the rear apron. Before we start, we'll make sure to say, wear appropriate protective gear, work in a safe and well-ventilated environment, and only perform work that is well within your capabilities. Cutting, grinding, and welding can all be dangerous, so make sure to use the necessary precautions. Our engine is running a two-tip GT exhaust, which we modified so that the tailpipes sit parallel with the engine as opposed to pointing down slightly. The manufacturer points them down slightly as the larger tailpipes won't fit the stock openings otherwise. So, since we modified the exhaust, we'll have to modify the body to fit the new tailpipes. We start with a couple of 3 8 inch steel rods that we've bent around a welding bottle cap. We set one in place against the apron to see where we'll begin cutting. The first two cuts we'll make are near the bottom so that we can open up the bottom edges of the apron. Then we use a body hammer and dolly to straighten the sheet metal around the edges. We set the rod in place on the apron again and mark the apron against the inner edge of the rod to give us a guideline. And then we'll cut off the inner rolled edges, which we'll then cut with an angle grinder and cutoff wheel. We also cut a couple of relief cuts about midway up on the opening and then bend the top side of the opening down and shape the metal with a body hammer. We slide the bent rod into the slot we just made to test the size of the opening, and we note how far the rod ends stick through. The ends are cut off, and we fit the rod back into the apron again and shape the lower edges of the apron to fit the rod with a pair of pliers. The rod is pulled out, the edges of the cutout on the apron are cleaned up with a wire wheel, and we slide the rod back into place again to check the fitment. Once we're happy with the way it fits, the whole process is repeated on the opposite side. And with the rough fit set on both openings, we check that the tailpipes are spaced evenly from the upper edge, and then tack weld both rods into place. We continue the welding to the rods to the apron, building up the welds to give a nice, solid edge that we can shape as we'd like. The bottom edges are welded to the rod and the inner apron skin as well. Once we're happy with the overall shape and edges, we protect the bare metal with some primer and we'll get a fully paint-ready surface while we're doing body work. We won't bore you with all the hours of block sanding we're about to start, but we can say at this point that they were worth the effort. The car is back from paint and it looks fantastic. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the like button below. Hit subscribe if you haven't. And when you need parts for your vintage VW, head over to jbugs.com.